This is too dangerous. Whatever they want here. If we send spies and they get caught, Nerum will see this as a provocation. Poor, poor people. All they did was invade a foreign country, yet look how ruthless we are, sending spies in order to find out why they're here. We should be ashamed. <laughs> Save the sarcasm. We both know what I mean. You know my opinion, Teela. I will consider it. You come at the right time, Prophetess. Commander, explain the situation. Of course, Grandmaster. Yesterday, we received word from one of our outposts in Duneville. One of the fishermen there saw warships anchoring on an island some miles from shore. And they bear the Niramese flag. We have already sent scouts to confirm this, and it is true. The Neremese have invaded our land. Yeah. Uh -huh. We have a suspicion. I suppose you know that the civil war in Nerim has ended two months ago. And who won it? The combined forces of the Northern and the Middle Realm, led by Taranor Korek of Kabait. The Southern rebels and the remnants of the Creator's Temple have been destroyed, once ah. and for all. Hmm. Now Nerim has been united under the banner of the free people of Nerim. How they like to call themselves. And this could be the reason for these warships. Because of this Koarek. It is said that he helped Narathzul Arantheal shortly before the Lightborn were slain. Ah. Uh. And while before that, he was an opportunist who changed his ideals as often as his underpants, it seems that his crusade with Narathzul converted him, so to speak. He has become a declared enemy of religion. Uh -huh. Any communist, eh? He also thinks of the death of the gods as the first step of many. And now he sees it his task to rid Vin of religion once and for all. Free the world from the scourge of faith. These are his words. Hmm. Though it is worth mentioning that his understanding of freeing includes mass executions and the burning down of temples. He's a fanatic. And worse, his men worship him for it. What he wants is to found a new world. And his free people of Nerim are supposed to be vanguard of it. <laughs> well, with the small but subtle difference that it was Narazul's vision to restore the human right of self-determination and not to obliterate every kind of superstition or spirituality. It is plain stupid to believe a way of thinking can be beaten out of someone's head with just enough violence. The only thing that does is radicalize. Though a world without religion would be a better one, that's without doubt. Nonsense. Then I got to do do with me a little bit at the You can see what chaos the death of the Lightborn brought on the world, and without your orders doing, all this would never have happened. Of course. Where were we? Not much. Or yes, there is. He's a narcissist. I was surprised to hear that the banners of his free people aren't ornamented with a picture of his and an inscription saying, Praise me. Correct. What Korik doesn't understand is that we're doing this to prevent a crisis. Not before the High Ones have been stopped. The civil war on Kile, Nerim, and Arazial shows what chaos such a revelation can cause. And we will not take this risk. Okay, eli kolme maata on jo sisällissodassa sen kysymyksen takia. Pigast? We believe that Korak already knows about the cycle and the cleansing. Aha. Uh -huh. And that he, how should I put it, wants it to happen. What? Well, I know how strange this sounds, but in a way it makes sense. For him, Enderal as the home of the Holy Order is the epitome of ignorance and stagnation. And we suppose he even knows that we are fighting these High Ones. But in his eyes, everything a paragon of the Old Order tries to prevent from happening must be something good. Yeah. Maybe he even sees the High Ones as prophets of his new era. Who knows? Fanatics are unpredictable. Right now, this is only an assumption, but we have to know. Yes. Do you know what a silver plate is? <laughs> plate made of silver. 
Good. Then you know that they possess the power to transfer sound from one plate to the other. Uh huh. Our plan is to place two of the plates in their camp. That way we can sound them out without risk. You, Firespark, and the mercenary, Dalvarek. However, you cannot travel to the island by ship. That would be too conspicuous. We found out that the Pyrians had some kind of underground transporting system. Under trains, that's what they called them. Mm -hmm. These trains connected the most important regions of the realm with each other, and thus probably also the temple on the island where Korak's ships set anchor. If we can manage to find one of these trains, we could use them to get right to his camp. And, as it happens, we have information about a Pyrian temple in the Crystal Forest. One that is still intact enough for us to find a way into one of these trains. The Living Temple. <laughs> That's how you call it, yes. But enough of the chit-chat. First of all, we need to find the gem that is used to open the gate of the temple. And I have a guess where we could find it. A village called Fogville, e. not far from the Whisperwood. As soon as possible. Joseph the mercenary has already traveled to Fogville. Se on hy and you do the same. I will meet you there. So we are talking about accomplished facts or what? It is the only way. I'm sorry, Natara. Prophetess, I'm counting on you. Find out why Korak is here. Yes? It was stitched into the blanket they found me in near that village. I don't really know if it is my actual name, but I had nothing else to go with, so it stuck. If it's really necessary, what do you want to know? Yes, but at what price? It, it isn't just what happens on the outside when it tries to take me over, Saira. At least not just that. It's what goes on inside. My thoughts, my feelings. Imagine you are walking through a forest all on your own. Then you hear heavy breathing, sobbing, and as you follow it, you find a wounded hunter. He's been mauled by a bear and is now heavily injured and delirious. I, that is the part of me that is myself, would want to help this man, to get him to safety. But the moment I see blood, the smell of death, these other thoughts start invading my mind. Yes, and that sight, it would arouse it. I can't find a better word for it. If I were to give in, it would... <sighs> Forgive me, Saira. I can't talk about this. I... I am sorry. Yeah, it's just... odd to talk about it like this. Honest answer? I don't know, and I don't want to know. As I told you in the scuola, if I really am the one to blame for that massacre in the village, if this memory is real, then the answer to your question is yes. I would transform into whatever this creature is, but it will never come to that. You have my word. If that were the case, I probably wouldn't be here right now, would I? No, it hasn't. Usually, it's just thoughts. And they're almost always there. It's as if there's always something lurking in the dark corners of my mind, just waiting for me to give in. It's tough, to say the least. I don't know if you can relate to that. Tein itselleni haltiamiakan tosiaan tässä näin ja nyt ollaan täällä Fogvillessä. 
<laughs> Down. Mä en tiedä mistä toi tuli toi susi, mutta ne kai vahingossa osu siihen se hyökkäs niitten kimmo. Niskyrimin rauniolta kun ollaan ja voi. Tää on tuhoutunut jossain sodassa luultavasti. Mikä selittää se, minkä takia noita monsuja pyörii nurkissa. Tein tuohon ton loihdinnan, että se myös antaa sähkö, sähkövaurio. Jaha, ja ei... Blasty blistering blazes! What the heck took you so long? We've been waiting for ages. <laughs> But you only just... What matters now <laughs> is that we find the gem that opens the temple doors. You two take care of that. I'll go ahead to the temple and inspect the gate. Any questions? No? Then beat it. Um, it helps to know what something looks like if you're supposed to find it. At least that's what I've been told. <laughs> I already told you that. A small red gem. If it's around here somewhere, and I'm quite certain it is, You should maybe search for it ho, ho. at the village treasury. Now get going. I'll see you at the temple. And lo and behold, from one crazy mission into the other. The living temple. Whew. I never thought I'd get to see it up close. Have a temple. I suggest you take a look at the town hall. I'll browse the rest of the village. Just call me if you find something. Nää vilkas on ensiksi nää muut nurkat tästä nää. Mikähän tän on tuhonnu? Siis varmaan Jesparilta muuta kysyä sitä. Ellei tää ole itse sama paikka minkä... Oho. Ellei tää Kalian... ...kotikylä.
se on tietysti ihan mahdollista, että tää on. Liittyy jotenkin tarinaan. Huh? About Fogville? Yeah, quite a lot actually. The story has always fascinated me. You haven't heard of it, I take it. What do you want to know? Niin joo, ei se kaljan yeah, voi olla. that's about what happened. Hmm. How can I say this without going beyond the scope? The short version? The villagers lost their minds. It all started when they officially renounced Malthus and the Righteous Path. I need to tell you that. Then more and more travelers started disappearing, and uh -huh. surprisingly, a lot of their corpses were found close to the village, dumped in the forest like slaughtered cattle. That was when the Order couldn't ignore this issue any longer and sent a division of guards to end the madness, whatever that's supposed to look like. But when these guards arrived, they were greeted by frenzied villagers who were armed to the teeth and jumped on the guards like rabid dogs. Most of them were killed, but one made it back to the temple. Well, and that's almost the end of the story. When the guards returned, they were almost the size of an army, but still the villagers charged right at them. You can imagine the result. Hmm. Yes, it was. It turned out they sacrificed them. Later, when the Order searched Fogville for what could have caused all this, they found a hidden hexagonal room in the temple, which looked like the Fogvillers built it themselves. It was strange. Uh -huh. There were exactly six paintings, one on each wall, and they all depicted unholy scenes, whatever that may mean. Anyway, it seemed that the travelers were sacrificed there. Heck knows why. Uh. As I said, they were mad. And this is also how they fought, regardless of the consequences. Plus, this place isn't exactly easily charged. Just look at all the walls. It's almost a fortress. Well, the most common one is the proximity to the Whisperwood. We all know what these spores do to the human mind. So maybe unfavorable winds over several moons? Who knows? Kiba. At least that's the official explanation. Some conspiracy theorists see a connection to the Butcher of Ark. Ah. Exactly. Strange guy, to say the least. You know, shortly before he killed himself, he left an autobiography. And even though the Order officially forbids owning it, there are collectors who established an entire cult around that Tanderson character. There's a lot of speculation going on about this entire myth, and some of it's quite bizarre and morbid, if you ask me. Anyway. Niin joo, siis sekin tapas tämän mystisen naisen heti alussa. Keep your chin up. Neljä osaa luettu ja mä en tiedä kuka monta osaa siinä on. Fireclockki olisi muuten kanssa hyvä näitten kanssa, jos ne tulee lähikseen. Okei. Nyt on lopussa. Oh, so moggy. Ouch. Okay, fire clock again. Jeron viime tien sanoja. Viimeinen viesti. <köhön> Joo, tulin sen verran <köhön> epäreilua ju juuri noitten... Okei. Okay. 
epäreilua näiden kannalta, että kun ne ottaa, kun ne tulee lähiksi, ne rupeaa ottaa heti vahinkoa. Ja sitten tämä tikari syö niiden niin kuin elinenergiaa, elinvoimaa mulle, että... Se Jere on ollut kyllä aika sairas tyyppi, täytyy myöntää papiksi. Tää on ihan hyvä. Hyvä vahinko tekee, mutta tää, tää tosiaan niinku kun kans puffaa tota terveyttä, niin... Arvokasta teräviä nuolia. Aha. Se on kala. Rautaaseita. Maaginen, maaginen ansa. Saastansa. Okei, sen saat noin tuhat. Tää on toinen firepoltti.
harrastuksia. Villimagia harrastuksena. Markaan kengät. Sitten. Onks mulla oikeet varusteet? That was quick. Any luck? Let me see. Yeah, that's it. Well, then I guess that means off to the temple. Come here. You ready? Good. Then lead the way. Mihin? Never walked back on the road from the aged man's abode. Ugh, blazes. Sorry. I know. I can't sing. Kaveri Laila Hevostani. Siinä hän juokset. Never walked back on the road from the aged man. Ugh, blazes. Sorry. I know. I can't sing. And that's it. The crystal forest. Beautiful, isn't it? The temple should just be a few miles up the hill. Yo, karmi vala tavala. Oh, it's an old legend. Apparently this temple has some kind of consciousness, so to speak. That's also the reason for the weird vegetation around here. Kiva. Yep. Huh? Well, well, that was quicker than expected. Did you find the gem? Show me. Hmm. Well, I'll be damned. That's the one. Then I suppose it's time for me to tell you some things about the temple. Uh -huh. Maybe you've already heard the Andrelean legend about this place. It's said that this temple is alive and that the entire forest is some kind of sensory organ of it. Uh -huh. Heareth his whispers, sung from the trees, dreadeth his gaze, blah, 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 you get the idea. Though most folk legends are superstitious nonsense, this one has a true core. The temple does indeed have a consciousness of some sort. That has, however, less to do with some suicidal lover's tragic fates, but with a Pyrian defense mechanism. The Stone Heart. It works because the Pyrians found a way to conjoin something immaterial with a human soul. That doesn't need to be a building like it is here. It can also be a, a sword or an amulet. The Bound One. 
Souls, as those whose consciousness was transferred were called, suffered atrocious pain during the ritual, but when it worked, they practically achieved immortality. Well, that's consoling. <laughs> it's a terrible fate, yes, but we all know that with the right religious blathering, humans can be convinced to do just about anything. <laughs> However, don't get the wrong idea. These bindings were unusual. Not every Pyrean had a relative living in his frying pan, so to speak. Only a very few Arcanists, mainly those of the Ischian caste, were able to perform them. In other words, bound places or objects were extremely rare. This temple is one of them. I doubt that it's resting. Witnessing the downfall of one's own civilization, and since then being forced to hang around in an extinct world, hardly has a positive effect on one's sanity. But we'll see. Go ahead, put the gem in the socket over there. Mm hmm. Perfect. Then let's go and keep your weapons ready. The under train will be the lowest level of the temple. At least if Lushishi's theories are true. Indiana Charles Manny. One question, my Sir Firespark. Why me? Why what? This is the third time that you've hired me. And my pay isn't exactly humble. Why? <sighs> what do you want to hear? A love song? You're a drunkard and a scrounger. Uh, but you do your work and you do it good. The day I put my faith in one of these God's lambs will be the day I dance naked through the upper city singing hymns of praise to the Lightborn. I'd like to see that. I'm sure you would. Now shut your mouth. Our entrance was everything but subtle, but we at least don't have to shout at this temple in the face where it has to trigger the next trap. this gear. Oh, but they got it. 
kiireisenä hetki aika. Mielenkiintoinen paikka. Junction. Seems that we have to... Uh, ah, wait a moment. There's something written here. Chujara Nem Choresa Nem Gan Tila Bayara. Hmm. Interesting. Yes? Uh, I'm translating. Again, that's the guy who's talking to over here. Uh, age takes its toll, I suppose, but... I I think that means something like the warrior, the wise man, and the dark one together wield the light. Hmm. Ah, and look at the inscription above the doorways. Chuijara, Hyoresa, Gandila, the warrior, the wise man, and the dark one. Sounds to me that there's something we need at the end of each of these tunnels to go further. To the light, whatever that is. Brilliant deduction. That means we have to split up. Do you see the pressure plates in front of the doors? To me, 
It looks as if each of us has to stand on one to open the gates. I should take the path of the wise man. What about you, Joseph? Um, the warrior? Good. That leaves you the path of the dark one. Can you, you go then. We'll meet again at the light. Come on, step on the pressure plates. Spellbreakeri. Okay.
tonne pitäisi päästä. Meh.
Immutisia ansoja. Tuli päälle. Riimu, mutta se on valitettavasti jäätäni. Se oli muuten aika lähellä. Met, mitäs jos äh, tämä juoni on vähän niin kuin Metroid? Eli niin kuin nämä pyrealaiset on nähnyt ennalta, että joku tulee voittamaan ne pahikset. 
Ja se joku on niinku kolme tyyppiä. Josta yksi on viisos mies, yksi on palkkasaturi ja yksi on... The chosen one, eli minä. Aha, täällä on jotain hassua. Tuurilla. There you are. I was starting to get worried. Where is Bushybeard, though? Have you seen him somewhere? A scream. But... Wait. Do you hear that? his voice. He got here before we did, but he didn't wait. Why the heck would he do that? Yes, but come on, let's take a look. Shijara Nem Lohem Sharatha. She showed me. She showed me. She showed me all. Uh -huh. She. She. The, the temple. She let me look through the window of time. And I saw it. All of it. The high ones. The light. The. The, the burnt flesh. Everywhere. Yes, because of the light, it burns us from within. I saw them, men, women, and children. They were they they were ablaze like the sun, so bright. And oh, 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 why did you show me? Why? No one should have to see something like that. No one. Yes, and they're, and they're with us here and now, everywhere and always. Uh, and no matter what we do, we, we can't hide. Uh, do you understand? We can't. 
My sir, you're, you're... you're not yourself. Just calm down and we can... No! Stay away from me! You, you don't understand. <laughs> you can't understand. <laughs> She's so sad. So sad and so full of wrath because <laughs> we chose to close our eyes rather than see <laughs> because we refuse to understand understand what you're not making any sense that it's us we are sin don't you see hmm. and there's only one way to end it what no no put that away this is madness Madness! What we do is madness! This is the only way to break the cycle. One glance was enough to understand her suffering. To understand that there's no other solution than ultimate death. One day, you will understand that. You too, fleshless one. And now... We have to die. It won't change much. But maybe it will make her just a little happier. Forgive me. Arvasi, että tämä nyt tapet tapetaan wise hermit would he do that his eyes I've never seen anything like that you mean he was possessed I I don't know I always thought the possessed have a red shimmer in their eyes when it gets bad he didn't and what was that talk about making her happy did he mean the temple huh my this doesn't get better We'll need to tell the order about it. Now, let's push on. At least we should find this train. We owe Firespark that much. Yeah, you're right. Come on, let's find a shovel. Or something like that. <laughs> 